nighttime moves are okay. Just remember when you do make your nighttime moves that you do have the proper lighting. Because if you get out into some of these rural communities and areas and you are off on some back road and it's a blind curve, during the daylight hours, you're not gonna see what's around that curve. But during nighttime hours, it's gonna light up the neighborhood and you're gonna be able to see pretty well what's coming at you. You know that there's something at you and hey, I may need to slow down or I may need to take another course of action. Talk about the lighting on the equipment itself. Say if we're pulling um, a disc or something of that nature, talk about the lighting that's required on that, especially if we're moving at night. Okay. We'll start with the by day. Anything that's traveling less than 25 miles per hour is required to have the slow moving triangle. You know, your triangle with the orange middle and the red outside has to have that on there. If it exceeds 25 miles per hour, and a lot of your new equipment is getting up there. If you'll notice, a lot of those are coming with turn signals, brake lights, tail lights. Those all have to be in play. And we all know you get out in the field or you're going down through, you hit a tree, and what happens? You end up knocking off that, that edge piece that's got your lighting on there. Have that replaced. It's still like your automobile. When you're traveling, you have to have that. Your equipment, if you do have that disc or if you do have that big piece of equipment, especially if it's outside of 12 feet, you still have to flag those. Now, when I say flag, I don't mean your streamers or I don't mean just putting a rag. I'm talking an 18 by 18 red or fluorescent orange flag and you can pick these up at most any place, they'll sell them to you. And you need to not only flag the four corners, but also you need to flag the widest points of that piece of equipment. I see. When you're traveling at nighttime, same rules apply. The only difference is now you're using lights. So instead of having your flags, now those widest points, you are gonna have that light. You're gonna have the lights on the four corners, you're gonna have that oscillating light, same way with your escort vehicles, they're gonna have all lights activated. And moving at nighttime, a lot of these pieces of equipment now, they have got lights everywhere. So you're gonna be lit up pretty well going down your average country road. Right.